hi everyone this is mr fusion designs and here we have something special from the governor mike lane he sent us something for review so this is the unboxing and then we will get on with the build so let's take a look what's inside so let's just see what he sent us over oh my goodness Wow, that's amazing, Mike. Can't believe what Mike has done. I even have a dairy milk, which I probably will give to my children. So, as you can see, it's the dashboard, monitor, and power boost. It's for the Night Rider, as you can see, and we will open this up. Let's just Kind of nervous. <laughs> so we have animated screen, power upgrade, plug and play, replaces batteries, USB Type C. The excitement is building. Mike Lane. My instructions. So we're gonna scan that, and we will see how the instructions will go. I will give a full installation video for this and already you can see the quality of this product is again as expected from my claim okay, we have a, a cloth it's those kind of cloth that you um, in your glasses with so that's we could probably wipe the screen just to keep it as clean as possible. I'm going to tell you straight off the back that this cable feels quality. There's a Type C, you can see it's extending there. A couple of cables here. Oh. We have a bezel here, double sided tape, but just look at that, it's amazing. Okay now, that's just on another level, I hope you could see that but is attached everything for you you don't even have to do anything it's literally plug and play so it just attaches as you would the others cables i'm just in another well this is amazing i'm speechless wow truly well I'm gonna put it back in my box. I don't want to damage it. Let's take a look at the adapter as well while we're here. So we have a adapter here. quality of this mod is quite outstanding actually and I would take that this will just go to the other side of the screen so yeah that's the unboxing of it so we're going to get this installed next we have our 
dashboard and we will need to unassemble quite a few things unfortunately mine is a lot more complex than I believe a lot of you guys would have so I'm gonna try and make you understand that it's um, a normal installation so here you would have a um, panel I didn't install mine but on Mike's um, instructions I will add add it to the screen what parts will be needed to be removed and take this is my um, mp3 player so this is just but pretend this is not relevant to the build so let's just remove this out the way let's just get my wires so don't get confused okay now this is my voice modulator again let's just disconnect that for now so that's voice modulator let's get that out the way That's five so far. So that, okay, so that's now removed this panel. Like I said, it has a lot of modifications, so you might see some different color wires, different placements of things. So, so these screws are for this panel. That reveals now. Now. Mines has already my own modification for my screen mod, which is on our website. It has um, our boxes, and this is the the tiny circuit monitor TV kit that I believe you've seen me. Um, you've seen me um, putting on my YouTube channel. And many of you have um, purchased and took it um, that modification to your own model, your own kit, so your own build. just take my monitor out but on yours this is if you have my kit that if you want to swap it over to like lanes you can do so you will be removing the screws This is the tiny circuit um, kit. It has its own speaker and everything. Oh, that's removed. We, we just removed that. And we have these. This again was um, modified with the kit from my website 
which is www.mrfusiondesigns with an S at the end dot com and you have the STL files and also the files for the tiny circuit there's a video that I will link in the description that you can um, do for yourselves as you can see mine has been quite heavily modified it has these but we're gonna go change it over Let's just take the screws. But so far we're doing well. Let's just remove that part. So you would think what I'm doing now is removed all your parts. This is for the steering column. I'm gonna move that screw to that side. I'm gonna try simplify this as easy as possible. Just moving things out the way so we don't get confused would need this part again mine's is modified I've done some coloring with a pen and let's just get all our cables sorted but we would need these cables and this cable and I think we are ready for my Glane's kit just make sure which I think he said we will need is this J? yep but this is J which are these two lights we will need and this is O no sorry this is G so we would need G oh well, let's just get over now Mike's kit come back to installing all this into it I've put my box back together just to keep it for safe keeping so we would need our parts now this is just a um, cloth that you can clean your screen so let's just put this to the side now hopefully we won't be needing that too much if we do it's there this is our extending cable so we would need this just in a bit again we will need this so, um, let's just put this to one side and Mike's done a fantastic job with packing but first we would need our bezel which again Quality is amazing. Well, let's just see how they might do this. I think we need to cut it open. Let's just cut that open. I will be adding the pictures in the where are we? In that corner. Just to show you um the instructions on Mike's the way he did it wow now I don't know if you could see that but um, there's actually is it glass or plastic it could be plastic There is a straight edge and a more curved edge. And that's the way it will be going into our ash. Let's remove the M3 backing tape. Hopefully we could get this quite easily done. I always find it quite tricky 
Remove the tapes. We can get this done without damaging them. Okay, we got it. So far, our screen looks to be clean. No cloth needed. You've seen that went straight off. And uh, yeah, we're okay. This is accurate to the to the actual car. I believe that's why Mike has done a replacement. I suggest you to put yours in. You don't have to, I don't believe, but I think it would just give it that extra look that if you want it to be accurate. is in place. Has to be good. Just making sure it's all pressed down correctly. Okay, I think that I think we're good. So let's see if I could get this maybe on the close up. There we go. So now we have our screen to be put in, but we have to connect a few cables. We have our screen now to be fitted. While we do that, this is the panel that we removed that would need to go into a new panel, which is all together now. Well, I don't know if you can see that with these the left will just go into place like this it is a snug fit Let's push it in place this is um take your time with this it is fragile this is but the fit is amazing <laughs> that's blown my mind the way I do, why I say that, because I know I've done this part, not exactly the same way, but I've done the three parts together. And this was the hardest angle to get in, believe me, because it goes like, anyways, I'm blabbing on now. I think this is resin, which is very high quality resin. He's printed it like amazingly. And yeah, so we got that. I'll fit it in. What we have to do now, we have to fit our LEDs. Oh, well, we have. Let's see if I could try to get this done. Excuse me, I might have to put an extra light on this. I think that would be much better. I tried to not put it so it doesn't trying too much but I think we do need it now but there is a hole where we I think just there and here where the LEDs will go through yeah so let's try it. now with this cable the black and yellow which is J, just making sure. Oh, it's just, mine's is connected to, I can't, well I can disassemble it, but I'm trying not to. Well, let's just try, see if we could get this LED just in here, take your time. There's no rush. Okay, that went in. Actually, I made it more difficult than it looked. I just was taking a bit more cautious than it actually could have been. 
as you've seen, they fit straight through. Well, we have our two LEDs in place, and we have one more. Just locate where did I put my other LED? And I just found it. It is G. Mike has said in his instructions just to bend this downwards. Just like that. Oh, I'm hoping you could tell what I'm doing. But there's the G and into the far end and the two J's just there. I'm not sure if I could get a close up. So far we're doing well. We have a couple of cables to fit before we screw this permanently down. Oh, just elastic band. So we have a splitter here. Which we will explain just in a bit. Oh, the splitter. This is all your power. But I will explain that when we get towards that. And now we have two cables. One black and grey long. You can see. So that's one black and grey. And then we have a just a single black cable. So there's two cables that we need to connect in to our board both let me just make sure they are okay let me just see i think we have to make sure of the orientation of the way this goes so yep now there is The only reason why, because on the instructions, it cannot be the grey cable to the left, it has to be the grey cable to the right. So you have to make sure that the grey cable, I believe, let's just see, and that it has to go into power. Well, let me just make sure which is which. up so into power the gray cable has to go to the right and black cable to the left make sure that's the way it needs to be connected I need it just popped out we'll connect that up in a minute and again let's just see I think it does matter which way this is connected the two black cables are the same they would be but anyways we will need through let's say i think go it says through go or it could be ground there's a black cable slowly take your time Make sure these are connected fully. And our black cable is to the right of the connections because they have two connections, one to the right and one to the left. Just make sure that the black cable is to the right. Now I'm going to install Mike Lane's power mod. And with this, you can put, as Mike has instructed, a power brick all connected through the power supply that is available for Mike Lane's uh, website. And, uh, or 
if you do not want to do this then skip this part and you will need just to um, power it by your batteries but we are carefully pushing that through I think that went all the way through yep so I think we done there with the cables Everything's in place now. And these are there, everything's there. Okay, we're looking good. Let's just get our LED that we had. And carefully putting it in where it needs to go. Okay, let me just find the screws we need. Unlike in Mike Lane's instructions, we have BP screws and we should have, like he said, loads of them hanging around. Let's just get one, two, three. I had three spare ones in one pack, but you must have a lot more than that. So let's just get the first one in. quite important this screw because it holds this in place now on the screen we will have this QR code and it will have all the instructions on how to install this so let's see what's the next stage I think next thing what we need to do is put we disassemble back in place now Mike has instructing people um, he will be doing let's just make sure but a few modifications to the steering wheel and I also I believe the panels Where did I read that I'm just trying to read up quite fast there's all he's we doing some more modifications in other words and he's saying if you do not want to carry on to leave it as it is that way you don't have to um, disassemble it again but I'm happy the way mine is and we will be um, continuing to where we left off
about to connect this up so let's get this out the way we have our floor panel with our dash oh let's just like we been doing separate our wires so these are our monitors now I'm gonna do this I won't put my wall panel screwed in but if we was to do the next issues we would be doing our cables through here I'm just gonna do mine simply as this just to show you how to install the USB-C cable through cables will be going through like that so now let's bring over our car so we have our car now now our USB cable is just here and there's a warning sticker not to power this up at the same time as using batteries it's just please it's a must that you must not use batteries while using the USB otherwise you are risking of the board to be destroyed and also damaging other components I'm just trying to pull the USB cable just here out. So hopefully you will see that. So we got our USB connecting extension cable just there. Let's just bring this back over. So now we have these are the cables that comes for the monitor so if you remember it was the grey and black and then that's the single black just get this ready okay now we would have have this cable which is cable um, I believe it's L Yep, this is L. Don't know if we will be able if I just leave that. So that's L and L is located just here. So you would remove L and connect it to this H now. So we have the black cable pointing to L. Now where are we? The L, it's. I believe that's correct. The way that is in place. Make sure it's pushed down. Now, Y connection is in the power, 5 volt power connector. Now, with this, you would connect the power from the monitor. Sure, it's there that's clicked in place and let's just say if you wanted to put a battery pack your battery apply that would go there 
if not if we wasn't using a battery supply from the build and you would leave it as that and we should be able to power this up in a minute so let's just get this set up and um, this is the power supply that Mike has gave us so we would be connecting one into that into a power socket so let's just get that ready so on the other end hopefully this won't drop off the other end would go just imagine this was all screwed down go into this section I'm hoping I could do this with the way I'm holding everything so I think it's connected and now we just need to get our watch and see if that starts up so we have our watch ready and i think the best thing will be uh, let's take off this light not sure would this be able to okay can i let's see if i could get this in shot just about can see the monitor there, so we're going to power it up and see if that works. And there we go. Wow. That's awesome. Let's see if I could take one more light off and hopefully... There we go. Oops. nice bright screen so guys like always if you could hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel that would be helping us a lot please go to mike lane's website and if you just go along there you would be able to buy this mod yourself and i hope you enjoyed it and look forward to talking to you again soon thanks a lot bye